catch up. Oops. No, no. What's up, Archistas? And welcome to episode 1 of PLM Arch Adventure Season 4. <laughs> tough times for 7 long months na. Kasi 7 long months na tayo nga sa bahay lang because we have to stay for our own safety. But that shouldn't stop us from learning and discovering new things that would specifically improve our skills as an RT student. Bring out your gadgets, Arkistas, because I am going to share student-friendly, beginner-friendly softwares that would help us improve in our online class, in our digital page, and saan nyo pa man gagamitin itong mga softwares na to. Let's get started! First on our list is AutoCAD. AutoCAD was used as early as 1982. So, isa siya sa pilot software na ginamit para sa architectural plans. It's a 2D drafting program that ensures accuracy in drawing plans. It manages small to large projects with exact measures and details. It can be used for 3D modeling, kaso ang downside ay mabigat ito sa CPU and sa RAM ng ating units. So, kapag gagamitin ito, better make sure na capable yung unit nyo, yung specs nya, para magamit ang AutoCAD. That's why AutoCAD revolutionized the architectural drafting process and the planning process. SketchUp is number 2 on our list. So when it comes to 3D modeling naman, SketchUp ay isa sa pinaka-pinaka very very beginner friendly na software kasi nung una ko siyang ginamit para lang akong naglalaro sa paint at sobrang easy i-navigate yung interface niya. All the tools will be laid out there. So para ka lang maglalaro ng Sims pero mas simple siya and mas modified. You can produce simple design concepts and also up to complex concepts that would give details sa inyong models and would also give a good visual for presentation. Pwede ka mag-add ng plugin sa SketchUp that would level up your skill or that would make your software customized ayon sa gusto nyong magamit nito. Third on our list is V-Ray. Ano <laughs> V-Ray is... A... V-Ray is... Viri is also a rendering program where you can make realistic drawings and realistic models that you can show off to your clients, to your audience, to your prof in our situation since students tayo. Mostly recommended to for interior designs and interior architecture. Kaso, hindi siya independent na software. It's also a plugin for Archicad and SketchUp. Fourth naman, we have Lumion. Mabilis and high quality ang rendering ng videos at still images when it comes to Lumion. You can import several 3D models na nagawa nyo from SketchUp or other softwares and then ilalagay nyo to Lumion so that you can add more details, spice it up, and ang maganda dito sa Lumion, makikita mo kung anong itsura ng design mo based sa araw. So, if it's 3pm, ganito yung itsura at tama ng araw sa design mo. If it's 9pm, ganito naman siya kapag gabi. Using this software, napakalaking panahon na yung matitipid mo dahil yung rendering na dating couple of days, it will only take a few hours. So, sobrang helpful nito lalo na sa ating students na sobrang sobrang time is gold ang motto natin. So, you might want to check out Lumia. Fifth and final software on our list and alam ko, alam na alam nyo na rin to. And halos lahat ng tao ay marunong gumamit nito. This is Adobe Photoshop. This is a graphic software by Adobe na pwede mong gawin yung post-processing ng 3D models mo. So kung may konting ito-tweak ka pang details or color grading, dagdag entourage, pwedeng-pwedeng gawin dito sa Photoshop. Also, you can make your architectural boards, thesis boards, and portfolio dito sa Photoshop. You can save it into GIF, JPEG, PNG. It's very convenient kasi nandito na halos lahat ng kailangan mo. You can add text to your project. You can make diagrams, elevations, sections, isometric drawings. Very, very capable si Photoshop na gawin yung mga yan. So, these are few of the hundreds and thousands of applications na pwede nating magamit as Archie students. And don't forget to explore habang kaya pa natin i-explore dahil mostly online class nga. So, we're transitioning into a digital more virtual setup. For more informations with other softwares, check nyo yung description box dahil nandun yung ibang links and ibang details na ilalagay natin dahil kulang na kulang ang isang video para i-enumerate lahat ng helpful na softwares for us. So feel free to check the details and also I encourage you to subscribe kung di pa kinaka-subscribe. 
click the bell button to be notified for the next episode of Arc Adventures. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. I hope you're safe and sound at your home right now. And sana okay pa kayo sa online class. Thank you so much and see you on our next episode. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.